We're going on our maiden voyage! Woo Let's go! Welcome back to Road to Pitches. Our names are Sachiko and Moritz, and we are converting a GMC Savannah box truck into our dream camper van. Okay guys, this is really exciting because we're gonna be taking the camper van out for a spin and we're taking you along with us. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. So excited. But we first have to go over to a couple of friends' house for dinner. We're meeting them Sounds just like to... like a chore the way you say it. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's just one more of those things that we have to do. Oh, no, it does sound like a chore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're also very excited to see them that first before we can start driving up north. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we'd love to show you us setting up camp tonight, but that might not be a possibility. So just a forewarning. Several hours later, we were back on the road. After working tirelessly for seven months on building this camper van, we couldn't believe we were finally going on our first adventure. Of course, every adventure begins with a little quest. We were furiously high beamed by a few cars on the highway and pulled off to discover that our rear lights had gone out. Is that one blown? Oh yeah, it is blown, I think. I found the culprit. Now I have to find a replacement. How many more hearts? Three more, but <laughs> they are gradually losing power. This is only seven and a half amps, and then we have five amps and three amps. <laughs> so more likely to burn. Let's put it in and hope. Pressing thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Not fingers crossed, but nope. pressing thumbs. <laughs> Can you check the back if the lights flicker away? Brighter? Yes. Yeah, I can see it. Good. Yes. Okay, good. Well, if you're not like at least a little bit tech savvy, I guess you shouldn't go man lighting. <laughs> 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 Don't need much, but a little bit. How hard is it to learn? Not hard, no. And there you go. Then like anybody Anybody can learn it, yes. There but you go. You should learn it before you venture out. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let me put her on. Time Please. check. Back yeah. on the road. <laughs> it's Sunday and we're trying to get there for Monday so we can work. <laughs> okay. I'd be very unhappy if we couldn't do our trip. Thanks for driving. Uh -huh. well, it's a tad late, so we'll check in with you guys this morning. Planeta, nous tous seuls pour nos départs et nos écueils. Mais notre temps, je n'y crois pas. Dis au revoir à ceux qui restent, dis bonjour à ceux qui viennent. Maintenant nous sommes le nouveau roi Oh je nous ai trouvé une planète Où sont We decided to take the camper van out for a spin We were getting tired of being in the city as everyone else is and we we're like well internet connection is pretty good at some of the places we've been climbing so why don't we just bring the camper out there and work from there so it's been working out great so far. Oh, I'm out of breath. I, I'm not even doing anything. And I, no, I don't have COVID because I smelled the garbage this morning. Um, but just going on a little hike right now. And look at this beautiful place. I'm just gonna spin you around. <laughs> Salut, je vous salue. 
<laughs> I have one more call. Is it okay if you make lunch today? Sure. Thank you. Just so you know. Ready? Yep, climb on. All right. See you up there. to the first pitch. Here we are, and here's the view. <laughs> That's this, what the top looks like. So we're at the top of Snakelet or Serpentine, it's a two pitch climb in Metcalf. It's in Kalpur Swamplands, just like an hour or two north of Toronto. Yeah, we thought we'd just take you along for the ride because, you know, when you're climbing, you get to see all of these amazing and fantastic places up high. but only a small small population of us even climb outside and i just it's just so amazing and we just want to share it with you so hopefully you enjoyed this video it's been um, our first two pitches on yeah. our road to pitches <laughs> on our road to pitches so yeah we're just gonna do some more shenanigans and bring you along and let's see what happens next those are the wrap anchors right there people always ask how do you climb outside? There are people that have come before us and set up these permanent bolts. Let's go back to those anchors. All right, friends, safe first. So this rappel here, it is like exactly 30 meters with rope stretch, which means we have a 60 meter rope. When you rappel, you gotta divvy that in half. Make sure you tie knots at the end. And voila, 
yeah, we are at the center. The center point. So I can just chuck this over. Somehow, this rope eventually has to come to my anchors. Because I don't have a rope. <laughs> Let's try if we can get it over to me. We did it! <laughs> I feel so car sick right now. <laughs> like hanging, swinging. Oh god, it's so Well, see you down there. Good about it. I don't think you'll hit the wall. Whoa! Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm mostly good. <laughs> yeah, this is not so good. Yeah, that was a big swing. <laughs> We hope you had fun coming along with us on this climb and we really hope that we'll be able to take you on a lot more climbs in the future. Obviously easy stuff because there's no way I'm down climbing like a 5'10A even. So yeah, we're just gonna get packed up here and have some pork chops for dinner. Tomahawk chop, an orange pepper, some eggplant, and a zucchini. We found a new use for our pylon holder. <laughs> Time for us to go to bed. We'll see you in the morning. Hmm? What did you see, rather? Oh, it's found you! No. What did you see, rather? Oh, it's back there. It's on your shoot sock. So, buddy, how do we get you out of here? Oh, it's not coming anymore, stupid mouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. 
fingers. I know. <laughs> oh, it already pooped. Yeah? That black speck, isn't that a piece of poop? Look how much poop this little guy created in like 15 minutes. That is disgusting. We don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to wait till tomorrow morning to figure it out. Until we get, what, a second one? <sighs> no, it's lucky. That becomes a today problem. <laughs> to get out. Oh, that kept me up all night. You have any more words? No. For our friends? No. You can show them what I had to do at 1 a.m. Uh, true. All I heard was tucka tucka tucka. Hey, at least we found the holes. No. As always with spray foam, you massively underestimate how big it gets. <laughs> located outside we've got pasta with pesto, halloumi, mushrooms, and red pepper. Right. Bon appetit! This is how it looks when we are actually packed up so we'll be leaving now. an amazing time coming along with us on our maiden voyage. I had a freaking awesome time just to wake up in a camper van that we had built ourselves and just call it home. It was fantastic and uh... I also can't believe we have 1,000 subscribers now on our channel so thank you to everybody who subscribed and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to hit that button. It's the easiest way to help us out and grow this channel. And also thank you for all your comments and thoughts. We really read all of them and we try to get back to you as well. Honestly, we love you guys so much for supporting us. It's unbelievable how much support that we've gotten and I, I, we can't say it enough how much we love you guys. Um, I do have one quick announcement, which is that I recently did a podcast with my friend Gloria, who runs a podcast called Miss Independent. It is a podcast about personal finance for young Canadians or really just young people anywhere. And I talk about my relationship with money, some trials and tribulations on building this camper van there. So if you're interested, I'll link it in the description below and you can help support her on Spotify as well. So yep. that's it. Hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you on the road to pitches. Bye. See ya. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs>